This week, this week marks a year since a Brunswick County man became the first person in the country to receive a new generation artificial heart. Tonight, we are checking in on him and his family months after doctors replaced his artificial heart with a donor heart. From the brink of death to a second shot at life, the past year has been anything but easy for Matthew Moore and his wife Rachel and young son Marshall. In some ways it feels like longer, in some ways it feels much shorter. To watch kind of my Facebook updates and what, what was going on this time a year ago and I just, we sit and we read it and then we reread the comments of people who were, you know, praying for him so much and it's just been, it's been crazy, all the love and support. Around this time last year, Matthew became the first person in the U.S. to receive a new generation artificial heart as part of a clinical trial at Duke Hospital. Matthew experienced heart failure last June. The condition was so severe, his heart stopped multiple times. Fast forward three days before Thanksgiving, doctors replaced the artificial heart with the donor heart. Man, it's, it's actually been really, really good. Um, I, you know, I have many pills to take every day for sure, but that has weaned down a lot. Um, but the the day to day is is really good. I'm able to get up steps now, walk around, take my son to school every morning, um, you know, cook dinner for us, basically live a much more normal life than I was able to last year. Functioning wise, he's doing amazing. You know, I mean, it's almost like you would never know. As things look up for the more family, Matthew's advice, prioritize and maintain your health. Get yourself checked out. That is the, that is the main thing because I feel like a lot of this could have been prevented. Shout out to the Moore family. And Matthew continues to have routine check-ins with his doctor in Durham. The Moores told me their story inspired friends and family to go to the doctor to get checkups.